Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of my Azumarill solo run in Pokemon Emerald Randomized. Last episode, a whole bunch happened, but most importantly, we had our repel wear off. Um, we, uh, uh, awakened, uh, well, we awakened Kyogre. Uh, and, whoa, we found Beldums in the water. We awakened Kyogre, uh, which immediately came to Sutopolis to fight with Groudon. And, uh, because of that, we had to go and awaken the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza to come and stop this legendary old battle. Um, but doing so, we have, uh, saved all of the Hoenn region. And with, uh, two awesome cutscenes. And some really cool music. That music, uh, that played when Rayquaza showed up was called, um, Rayquaza Awakens. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to show this water. Look how blue and just, like... It's absolutely clear, it's like a mirror, it's literally reflecting exactly what you're doing. Except, your Pokemon isn't reflected, it's, uh, you're just kind of floating in the air. But, it doesn't matter. It looks really cool, I love it. Uh, so you talk to, uh, Maxi and Archie over here, and they're basically like, Sorry, uh, we now realize that having only land or having only sea is completely stupid, I don't know why we thought it was a good idea. See ya. Uh, and so that happens. Steven's like, good job, and then you talk to Wallace, and Wallace is like, here is HM07 Waterfall. Which you'll need, uh, to, uh, get into the, uh, we'll get over to Victory Road. Um. Let's get rid of Psychic. Perfect. So you come in here, and this is... Yo, how's it going, Champ Bounds, isn't he? So he talks about uh, Juan, who is a water-type gym leader. Anyway, so uh, this puzzle, there's a specific way to go over all of these. If you walk over them twice, then they'll fall through to, to the bottom. Uh, and at the bottom, there's a bunch of trainers to fight. There's a lot of trainers, and um, I'm level 91, so I think I don't need I don't I don't need the experience. Um, this, this puzzle's kind of cool. I like, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I used to do these puzzles over and over again to uh, try to perfect it. Um, let's see if I remember how to do this one. This one's always the most difficult. And it's really easy to mess up. Yeah, so you have to go left first. For the one down, uh, so for the first one, you just follow what I did. It's super simple. You can figure it out. Um, if you don't cover all of the tiles before you get to the end, then the slope, you'll just go up and slide right back down and crash to the ground. Um, for the second one, uh, you can go either left or right, doesn't matter. Um, yeah. But for this one, you have to go left first, or else it won't work. And you'll just end up falling through. But once you do that, we fight Juan. Now, Juan was not in, uh, the, uh, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. He was added to Emerald to become the 8th Gym Leader. The 8th Gym Leader in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire was originally Wallace. Um, but now Wallace serves a different role, so we'll see what that role is, um, or not. Hopefully we'll see what it is. Uh, here is Nosepass, missing from Roxanne's team, I guess Hwan had it the whole time. And here's Camerupt. Um, whoa, look at that, and a Wishcash, which I think he actually has, so good for Hwan. And like that, look at that, so that's that's the power of rollout. I just completely rolled out his entire team. Anyway, for that we get the 8th and final badge, the uh, win Rain badge, and he gives us uh, the TM-03 for Rain Dance. Let's go take a look at our trainer card. All 8 badges, which allows us to go to um, the Elite Four. So if you fall down there, this is what happens. You have to fight uh, the, all these people here. Um, but that's it for Sutopolis, other than the really pretty water. Um, now that we have Waterfall, and we just beat Juan, so we have the badge to actually use Waterfall outside of battle, we are going to, um, oh, look how clear that is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyway, this is the water. This is, I'm getting to a battle real quick to show you guys. Um, usually there'd be a Relicanth in here, um, but there's not, and I just realized that I won't be able to show you how to get the Reggies, because, uh, this game is randomized. Um... Actually, we're going to fly over to Moss Deep and go from there. Uh, so we're, 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 we're going to go over here to uh, Evergrande City. Uh, that's our next destination. Over there will be Victory Road, which is the long uh, cave road place that takes uh, place right before um, 
uh, the Elite Four. So, th we're coming down to the end of the game here. Um, there is an unlockable area after you beat the Elite Four. Um, perhaps I'll showcase it in a later video. Um, I really don't have any plans to, to show it off, though. Um, uh, it's called Battle Tower. Um, uh, the Battle Frontier, I should say. And uh, I, I love the Battle Frontier. And um, I'm probably not going to show it off, but I do recommend you going there because it's really, really fun and really challenging. Anyway, so over here we have a, this huge waterfall. But you need a waterfall to go up, but you don't need a waterfall to find a far fetch. You don't need a waterfall to go down, you just need it to go up. But that's it. We've uh, officially made it to Evergrande City, and right in front of us is uh, Victory Road. Victory Road. And over here is uh, Scott. Great Scott! Alright, let's see. You, you will need um, Rock Smash, um, Surf, Strength, and... Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, you can use Flash. Let's get rid of uh, Ember. You can use Flash, because um, there are some dark areas, but you don't need it. Um, so, this is Victory Road. So, up here is uh, something special. Well, Whoa, a gold Mercargo. That's special, but that's not what I'm talking about. Past this bridge, you're going to want to save once you get to the end, uh, before you get to the end of this bridge. Once you get over here, you'll be stopped by your good friend Wally. This is, um, you and Wally's, your and Wally's, Wally and yours, uh, this is the last time you fight Wally in this game, random rival Wally. So in Ruby and Sapphire, you actually fought him at the end of Victory Road, and he was difficult. Um, so imagine going through this entire place, well, uh, you'll see how big this place is. Imagine getting the, the end of this, like, long area, your Pokemon are all dead, and you're just like, I just need to get to a Pokemon Center, and you get to the very end, and who else is waiting there other than your rival, who is a lot stronger than you expected him to be, as he has five Pokemon on his team. But they changed it to the beginning of the Victory Road, so you can just go back and heal, which is great. And now it's very enjoyable. Um, and so this is a spoiler I was talking about like, really early uh, in the game. Uh, not Chesto. I don't have any more Cherry Berries? Okay. Uh, I should have a Paralyzed Heal. Yeah. Let's do Ice Beam. I don't want to get paralyzed. Um, Wally in the remakes of this game is amazing. So normally he has a Ralts, which he evolves into a Guard of War. Uh, but in the remakes, because he does get a male Ralts, he always gets a male Ralts. And so now, since Gen 4, male, uh, <laughs> there's his Feebas that he began with. I guess he never evolved into a Milotic. Um, and that's really it for him. I guess I don't have to go back. Um, uh, since Gen 4, Ralts, male Ralts have a special evolution that are not part of Wars, and so he actually does get a Glade, and as of Gen 6, uh, Glade actually got a Mega Evolution. So you put two and two together, and Wally has a Mega um, Glade that you have to fight at the end of Victory Road. Yes, and you, the it does go to original like, Ruby and Sapphire. Whoa, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Um... Sorry. Uh, yeah, so you will have to fight um, Wally at the end of Victory Road in the remakes of this game. But it's all good because... Don't push that rock that way, that's wrong. Uh, because he has... Oh, man, he's, uh, he's some amazing... Uh, oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. Are you kidding me? Whatever, whatever. Let me just... Yeah. Whatever. Don't they use? No, I don't. He has some of the coolest boss music I've ever heard in a Pokemon game. It's so great. Um, dun -dun 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 I messed it up again. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing the speed up button. Probably shouldn't be. Um, yeah. But I think my favorite um, boss theme from Pokemon games um, is actually from Pokemon Black version when you have to fight Pokemon Black and White when you have to fight Geddes. I love his theme because it's like it's just ominous chanting 
There's ominous chanting, and they're chanting his name. It's so cool. Um, if I ever play it on the channel, I will uh, definitely make a note of that. Cause that is such a cool theme. Uh, oh, peepee up. I have a peepee -pee max, so I'm not really sure if I need a peepee -pee up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this on return, and then use peepee -pee max on ice cream. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I think it was 16, so 32, 15, 28. Yeah, I okay, think that's good. Uh, I probably should use it on Surf, because I feel like I'll use Surf more than Ice Beam. Uh, but it really doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, as long as I have enough for rollout, I'm good to go. Speaking of rollout... Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, I should have named M4X. And be like, X gon' give it to you, walk gon' give it to you. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, here's some, here's a, a really brown Makuhita. It's gonna roll around the mud all day. Um, I have a repel. Uh, never mind. <laughs> what, what a time to speak up. Uh, dude, I need to clear my inventory out. I mean, we're at the end of the game, so I guess, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. But still. Um, so I wonder, should I do the Elite Four as uh, one whole video, or if I should do it in chunks? Like, one episode per Elite Four. Um, I feel like Rollout, like, I mean, I've talked up Rollout a lot, but, like, when Rollout shines, it really does shine. So I feel like I, I, I really can use Rollout to take out the Elite Four, and I, I do plan on doing that. So if it does everything, you know, go according to plan, then, um... I will end up using, like I just said, only rollout. So, oh, that's a really cool color for Pupitar, because that's the color of Tyranitar and Larvitar, which Pupitar doesn't have for whatever reason. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'll go ahead and do all the Elite Four in one episode. Um, and then. I'll at least try to show off, like, one thing of, uh, Battle Frontier. Because I really do like Battle Frontier, and I do want to show it off. Um. X Defend, great. Oh, but it doesn't matter, because huge power is the best ability ever. Okay. What are you guys' favorite, uh, Pokemon types? I think my top three favorites would be, like... Water, Psychic, um, and Steel. There's a lot of really cool Steel types. Like, one of my favorite Pokemon, Metagross, or, uh, Aegis, uh, yeah. Aegislash, actually. I learned that the other day. A-E-G-I-S. One of my favorite words. I never knew how to pronounce it. I always pronounce it Aegis. And I, pronounce, I heard someone pronounce it Aegis. And so I was like, I wonder how you pronounce it. I looked it up, and it's pronounced Aegis. Um, so yeah. Aegislash. Aegislash is uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I think what you want to do is... Oh, this guy right here. Alright, so this guy has uh, kind of some weird lore in um, Suda, he says. I trained together with my whole family. Every one of us. I'm not losing to anyone. So that kind of references... Uh, I didn't really look into it much, but... Um, Algae Hair V2. Um... Oh, he's a mudkip! You're okay in my book, friend. Um, the 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 Wind Street House, the people we had to fight like four in a row over by Marvel City. Um, they basically said that they had a son who like left to go become a Pokemon trainer, and uh, he hasn't like come back or whatever. And there's lore behind it that, uh, or speculation, I should say, um, that this is the this is the son that they were talking about. He was he, he, uh, better than my family. Is that possible? He talks about his family, both in his intro and losing, uh, dialogue, uh, which, you know, the Winshade family is very, uh, family-oriented. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting to, to see something so early in the game, though, the Winshade house, and fight them, and have mentioned a character, and then kind of go later on in the game, like, this is 
pretty much end game right now. It was pretty much this is end game right now, and um, find find a person relating to that. That's really cool. Um, continue continuing continuity continuity in uh, video games uh, is very much loved by all. Um, though it's not required, you can have a really great game without continuity. You can have great shows without continuity. It's all about how you, uh, set it up. Omnimite. So, I don't know if you guys want to hear about cephalopods, but I'm going to talk about them, because I like cephalopods. Uh, octopus are my favorite animals, and they're part of the cephalopod family, or cephalopoda. Um, did I go in a circle? I did go in a circle. Great. Let's go down here. Um, and so, uh, cephalopods are basically shellless, um, Mollusks or shellless, um, uh, well, yeah, basically shellless mollusks. Uh, so you can still, like, find, it's, like, in their DNA still to have a shell. It's like octopi will, like, search the ocean floor for, like, discarded bottles and stuff and, like, stuff themselves inside of there, like, as a shell. Um, meanwhile, things like the nautilus have their shell as well. But, uh, one of the ancestors of the, why is he, what, why are you up here? One of the ancestors of the uh, octopi are um, and squids and cuttlefish, you know, all cephalopods. Are is the um, the uh, ammonite, ammonite, which is uh, what omnimite and uh, omnistar are based off of. Are these ancient um, cephalopods? Whoa! This is it. This is the true final battle. Who wins? Skillsula. Wait, now you have huge power? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you didn't do that much. It's the true final battle. Oh! Come on, I believe in you! I believe in you! Let's use Return! Let's be with Return! The power of friendship! Oh, you killed itself with recoil. Well... Okay. <laughs> do whatever you want, I guess. Um, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Like, really? There we go. Tyrogue. Psh. Starter Pokemon. Um, let's see. We've seen Torchic, we've seen Mudkip, Marshtomp, and Swampert. Uh, we have seen Grovile, but we haven't seen Trico, or we haven't seen, and we haven't seen Sceptile. Anyway, so we made it. This is the Elite Four. Uh, once you talk to these guys, beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges may uh, be permitted to enter. Train us! Trainer! Let's uh, confirm they have all the badges. Go forth and believe in yourself! Uh, so now, uh, the Elite Four is open to us. I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Ah, uh, that's enough. Let's buy... yeah, it's fine. Four restores... Uh, twelve? Okay. That's fine. Uh, that, I don't need that. Alright, so just stocking up some stuff. And unfortunately, I'm not going to take Loaf and um, Memento in with us. Uh, to the Elite Four. Although you guys still help us. It's our time to go. Uh, unfortunately, Kips and Lemontarn aren't going to be seen. <laughs> so, I salute you guys as well. But um, we're gonna end the episode off there, uh, and this is it. We've come a far, a long, we've come a long way. But next episode, we're gonna fight the Elite Four and officially beat the game. So, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.